In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a 7-day programmable switch by Honeywell. I'll show you how to set the date, the time, and program the switch. I'll have an additional video on how to install the switch later. So once the switch is installed, you get this screen. Push and hold down the bottom button, and this screen comes up. And it's going to be flashing on mode. Push the bottom button to select mode. And then you get to choose automatic, manual, or random. We'll choose automatic for now. Push the bottom button, select it. And then we're going to move over time. Push the top button, move over time. And we're going to end up choosing 12 hours AM, PM, or military time. We'll choose the 12 hours AM PM, push bomb button to select it, and now set the time. Use the top buttons to select the hours. So right now it's 10 o'clock, push bomb button, select it, and then choose the minutes. 10.57, push bomb button, select it, now enter the year. Use the top button, select the year. And bomb button select it. Choose the month. And then the day. And push the bomb button to select it. And then we'll move on to configuration. Use the top button to select it. And you get to choose the screen. Do you want a low setting, a high setting, or do you want it to turn off after 8 seconds? So we'll end up choosing the high setting. We'll push the bomb button to select it. And then you get to move on to daylight savings. Do you want it on or off? We'll choose on. Push bomb button, select it. And then we get to choose latitude and longitude. Now there's some paperwork that comes with the switch and it'll show all different cities around the world and you get to choose which one you're closest to and you can enter the latitude and longitude. Entering this information will help the switch know what time the sun's gonna set if you choose to use the sunset as the time on for your switch. So we'll enter latitude and longitude. And then you can make an adjustment if you need to, if your city is based on political or economic boundaries instead of coordinates. I don't need to. Push the bottom button, get back to this screen. We'll push the top button to move over to program. And we get to this screen. When you get to this screen where it says on P01, that's the time the light's going to turn on. Push the bottom button. Now you can select the day of the week and choose them all, or you can individually choose the day. We'll choose Sunday, push the bomb button to select it. And we'll move over to the time. Right now it's at 4.33 p.m. That's time sun sets. We can change it and we can pick a time. We'll start with the hour first and we'll select 5 p.m. Push bomb button, select it. The minutes, leave it the same. Push bomb button, select it, flashes. Now we're good to go. Now we'll push the top button, move on to the time it turns off. Push bomb button, select the day of the week. We want to turn off on Sunday. And then we'll choose the time. And we'll have it turn off at 9 p.m. Push the button, when you see it flash like that, it's all set. Move on to P02. Then you can choose the time for the next day. We'll choose Monday. Push the bomb button. And we can choose the time we'd like it to turn on. We'll choose the hour first. We'll set for 5 p.m. We can choose the minutes next. We'll choose at 5.03. Push bomb button. Once it flashes like that, you move on to the time for it to turn off. But if you want to just turn on every day at 5 p.m., I'll show you how to make that adjustment. So once we have everything all set, go back. First, we gotta get the P02 to turn off. So we're gonna go back and where the dates are, we can push over until we get to none. We'll select that. 
push the bomb button to select it. There we go. And we're going to move back to P01. So right now on P01 for on time, I'm going to select it. And we're going to choose the dates. We're going to switch it till it ends up saying all the dates are on. I'm going to select that. We'll choose 5 p.m. We'll push the bomb button until we see it flash like that. And then we'll move on time off. And we'll select it, get to the dates, push the button over until we get all the days. And we'll select that, move on to the time we want it to turn off, push the bomb button to select 9 p.m. And it double flashes like that and we're good to go. Then we just hold the bottom button and it brings you back to the main screen. There you go. Time is set. And we can talk about the different modes you can put in. Right now you see the clock there, so it's in automatic mode. We'll push the bomb button and hold it so we can choose mode. We'll choose mode and we can switch over to manual mode. Select it and then we can hold the bomb button to get back to the main screen. Now the switch will work as a normal light switch. To turn it on and off, you just push the bottom button. There's a little black dot in the corner. It'll light up blue when the light outside is on. Or we can hold down the button and we can switch it to random mode. So we'll go back to the mode screen, push the bomb button, switch over to the suitcase. Now that's in random mode. That means it's first gonna turn on at sunset. It's going to last about one hour and one hour and 30 minutes. Then it'll turn off for 15 to 30 minutes. And then it'll turn back on until it gets to about 10.30 p.m. or midnight. And then it'll turn off completely. So that's if it's in random mode. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, think about subscribing to my YouTube channel. Keep you up to date on all my future videos and leave a comment on what you liked or what you didn't like. Thanks again for watching.